preparing for their wedding when an angel appeared. <laughs> and the angel proclaimed great news to Mary and let her know that she was going to have a child, a very, very special child. Mary was at first overwhelmed and then Overjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Upon receiving this joyous news, Mary and Joseph heard about the decree from Caesar Augustus, the emperor of all of Rome and all the people under Rome, that everyone was to go to the town of their birth to be counted for the tax. And so, Mary and Joseph decided they must go, even though Mary, very pregnant with this blessed child, would need to make this difficult journey to go to Bethlehem. On the way, they stopped at an inn. They stopped at an inn. <laughs> Do you have any room at the inn, said Joseph? <laughs> so they moved on to the next house. <laughs> Is there room here? Nope. <laughs> so they continued, still looking for a place where there was room at the end. Is there room at your inn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's room in the stable, the innkeeper said. And so Mary and Joseph, preparing for the birth of the child, came into the stable. The animals of the stable were very curious about these people. And so the animals came and gathered around. <laughs> gathered around with the family and their new baby. Now at that time, there were shepherds out watching their flocks in the fields. And every night they would gaze up at the stars, gaze at the stars as they watched their flocks. <laughs> when lo and behold, an angel appeared to the shepherds. <laughs> And the angel brought them great tidings of glad news because the shepherds had heard about the prophet's prophecy of the Messiah, the one who would save all mankind and the Jewish people. And the shepherds were amazed when even more angels appeared. <laughs> the shepherds were in awe about all these angels. They'd never seen one, let alone four or five angels. <laughs> And so the shepherds decided to go and seek the child that they had heard about in the stories of old. And they came to Bethlehem. Where they found the child and Mary and Joseph. At that time, a very special star appeared in the sky. A double star. It rose high, high in the sky above everyone else and shone down over the stable where Jesus had been born. 
<laughs> At that time, there were also astrologers, wise people from far east, and they saw the star. They had heard the prophecy about the Messiah, and they began to follow the star. But on the way, <laughs> they were stopped by King Herod. <laughs> King Herod asked, where, are, where is the child of which you seek, this supposed king of the Jews? Herod wanted to know, because Herod had evil in his heart. He didn't want to share kingship with anyone. <laughs> and so he told these wise men, when you find this king of the Jews, send word so that I can come and worship him too. <laughs> the wise men continued to follow the star until they came to Bethlehem. And the child Jesus and Mary and Joseph. And there they presented gifts of gold and myrrh and frankincense <laughs> to the <me. laughs> As only wise men can. <laughs> Here we have the Christmas tableau. All the players, all the players in the story that we know. Now, why does this story still speak to us? In this story, there's someone who shines a light, who provides a place to follow, the star, the angels, send good news. The kings, though they are great people, humble themselves before this single child. And who among us, who among us, hasn't thought ill of someone else in our lives? All of the players in this story talk to our human condition. Some things that every one of us will experience in life. Every one of you children will experience these things. This is Christmas. This is the celebration of the birth of Jesus. And however we take the story, Jesus lived to proclaim the message that all are loved. All are loved. No one is left out. And the stories we hear about Jesus when he grew up to be a man are all about trying to bring that love and that understanding of love to people. I know that each one of you, every one of you, is loved because you were brought here tonight. Every one of us was a child, was a baby. And every one of us is here because of the love that's been given to us by others throughout our lives. The message of Christmas for me to you tonight is that all, all are loved. Thanks for doing our story tonight, everyone.